Hey, Dark Sky here, and today we are playing Valheim. We uh, we've been doing some things. I've been uh, you know getting uh, doing all the traveling and whatnot, so you don't have to like uh, suffer through the uh, the boat rides and everything that uh, that I've done. Uh, as you can see here on the map, I've uncovered a lot of stuff, gone through on a boat, lost a lot of boats. <laughs> you can see, like, I sailed up here, and I ended up dying up here because of a uh, moth, or not a moth, but a little mosquito-looking thing came from the plains, and it came out here and <laughs> just took my boat apart. And of course, I couldn't get back to land and ended up dying in the process, you know. So, uh, yeah. A lot of boats, but uh, ended up, uh, you know, getting up in here and uh, doing some uh, searching and finding some stuff. Now, this here, this little shirt thing here, um, is kind of like the bag. It's it's another merchant, and I'll show you that merchant. It's really uh, it's really quite interesting. It's mostly uh, the shirt one here is mostly for um, what do you call it? What do you call it? decorations? So, you know, it just, it just to kind of make you look pretty uh, uh, for the most part. So we'll go up there. We'll go check that out. And uh, let me see here. I got to uh, let's eat some food here, get some power. So you can see that this uh, this thing here, this um, obliterator here. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I got I got a few things in there. I got uh, the just these seeds, you know, stuff that I don't need. So what we can do is we'll uh, pull this lever and then we get the heck out of Dodge. And then, yeah, you see, when the lightning comes down and hits that, it like uh, it does like an area effect. So if you're in the in the vicinity, you get hit by that lightning and it hurts. So yeah, you don't want to you don't want to be there. Now, oh look at that! It actually did give us coal. That's cool. Uh, nope, that's not how I want to do it. There we go. So that's nice. Uh, I, last time I did it, I only did it with one piece of wood last time and it, it didn't give me any quotes. So let's, uh, check to make sure all of our lanterns here are full and they look like they're doing really good. They do much better than the, uh, the little... The little torches you know these little things here these things standing wood torches they always run out but those ones up there they uh they tend to kind of hold on to the onto their uh the coal and all that so much better and that's what i need to do through here is just put like a line of these these things in there so that the way i can uh you know it's much easier to get coal than it is to get uh the resin uh, I mean, you, it's easy because you can just go out and hit a tree and get the resin, but, you know, uh, I can just take some wood and put it into a uh, one of those little furnaces things over there and, and get, get the coal just much more easier. So here's what uh, we got. We got the Elder's uh, Portal. We got the Bone Mass Portal. And now we have the Motor Portal. And the Motor is Motor? Modar? I don't know how you say that. I think it's motor. I want to motor in. No. <laughs> um, but any, yeah, anyways, that's our next uh, boss that we have to go after. He's the uh, the little dragon guy that's in the uh, in the mountains. And so here, this is our first market. I finally put the little uh, uh, sign up so we knew what, what this portal was for. Now, this was for the first guy. Um, let me see. Uh, we can go and get and get some cash and bring it with us and we'll go and check out that uh that other merchant and just see what they have i mean they got a few things they got uh something for barbers and stuff but i don't know why would you want to like what are you gonna do cut off your beard or something i don't know <laughs> i'm not gonna cut my beard off you know a Viking without a beard? That, that's strange. But I imagine it just like changes your appearance or something like that. I don't know.
All right, so I put the market one up here. This is my explore one. That's the one we use to kind of just bounce around. This one here is for market two. So we'll go into market two. And this one is like kind of stuck in a funny spot. It's right in between like the uh, the mountains and and the plains. So and the swamp. I forgot the swamp is like <laughs> to the what east of us. But we're in the meadows right now, so that's a good deal. Uh, and it also has the little bubble, you know, to kind of keep you protected. This would be kind of cool if you could get this kind of stuff and then have it put up, put that on your property. That'd be kind of neat. All right, so you got this uh, this lady here. Oh, can you also use this? Divin? Hmm. Yeah, so anyways, uh, let me tell you about, about my mother, you know. <laughs> like you know you're on the couch for a psychiatrist or something <laughs> okay all right so anyways let's talk to her crazy looking person there so we can sell some of our stuff here uh what, what? 17 18 there we go look at that so we got some money now so we can get this iron pit. It's an empty vessel waiting to be filled with firewood and kindling. Okay. Can't be teleported. Oh, that's a bummer. So I have to come over here with the boat and pick it up. Hmm. It's a stick that sparkles pretty. <laughs> it looks like you can use it as a weapon too. Uh, block armor, block force, parry, knockback. So... More like a shield. Hmm. And then you got a simple cap, uh, purple, simple purple cap. And uh, not too, it's just a simple yet fashionable purple cap. <laughs> and then you got this one here. It's a simple yet fashionable red cap. The durability is really nice on it. Well, not that but that yeah durability on that it's a 800 that's 800 that's a thousand the simple tunic natural it says a simple tunic but its armor is only like one <laughs> and then uh and then you got this simple dress natural so i guess we get to oh it's just a simple dress so we can walk around in a dress if we want <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. The only thing I see is a, a kit fit for the finest of barbers. I don't know. I'm going to get this, because I have no idea what that is. Oh, it gets a barber station. Huh. I hope that uh, I can... Eh, doesn't say it can't be teleported, so that's good. All right, cool. Well, there it is. Uh, so we got uh, these guys here are Loxes. So you got Alan and Labar. You can pet them. Oh, he loves you a lot. That's nice. What do you, I wonder what he's going to give you, you know. If you... Oh, that one cuddles with you. This one just loves you. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So that's what's here. This is the other merchant. Uh, not too crazy about her because she doesn't have really a lot. I mean, unless you want to just have some like pretty stuff, I guess. Maybe wear a dress or something. I don't know. All right, so let's take this back and uh, we'll drop this off. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, we can set it up somewhere. Maybe we'll put it up in my house or something. I don't know. Let me see. 
So what's it look like when you put it in your house? Or do you have to right click it or something? I don't know. So let's uh, let's have a peek to see what this looks like. Ah, oh, there it is, Barber Station. So you need fine wood, bronze nails, troll hide. Workbench helps you stay up to date with the latest Viking fashion. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um. Well, let's see what. Uh, I think I. Well, I don't know if I have the troll hide. So here's troll. Yeah, I don't have the troll hide. So we'll have. We'll just put that in there with the troll hide. I'll have to go and and hunt down some trolls there in the uh, black forest, and uh, and then we'll we'll uh, have to put that uh, barber shop up and see what it looks like. Now, for now, we just put the money in the bank there. And, um, yeah, we should be good. All right, so I'm thinking the next thing I want to do is go to uh, the motor, motor area. We'll go, we'll go have a peek at what that uh, in, entails. Let me see, we we're pretty good on fire arrows, because there is a ton of stuff there. So, and one thing that I found out really interesting was, is if you use your pick on the um, the stone golems that are up in the mountains, like, the, st the pick does, like, a ton of damage to them, so. Obviously, right, because they're made out of stone, so that makes sense. Okay, let's do this, huh? Is it too cold up here for me? I don't know. Right now, I'm fire. Yeah, I don't know. Should I use? I don't think I need it because I got the uh, the uh, thing. You know. Now I put up these little little things up here. Um, what do you call them? Like little. Oh, did I get that guy? That'd be awesome. I think I actually shot him from up here. What is that? A Donald snow snowman or something? Of course, I can't see anything now. But there's something white up there. Something white, something scary. What is up there? Was it a wolf? Maybe it was a wolf, huh? Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a stone golem guy. All right, so there should be an egg up here. go to get through there and uh, let me see here so if you use a pick on this guy it does a lot of damage as long as he doesn't hit you ouch dang it yeah, the problem is the pick is slow, you know, so. Got some good hits in there. It's a definitely a slow process. Oh, dang, there's like two eggs there, huh? Oh, there must have been three. All right. Uh, let's uh, take the eggs back because I think I'm probably pretty full by now. Those eggs are heavy. And you can't pour with them. 
So, but that's good because we have the, um, We don't need to port with them because we're going to be using them like right here anyway, so. Of course, once we, uh, we can't have this stone guy here while, running around while we're <laughs> trying to fight the boss, you know, that ain't going to work. Oh, he can climb right up that rock, too. Let's see, all I need is one more egg, and then we should be golden on, not the golden egg, of course, but we'll be uh, ready to take on the boss. I don't know if we really want to do the boss yet, but, you know, maybe it's just a good idea just to have the eggs, you know, in our control. Now, one thing that I didn't know is that uh, up in these uh, mountains here, um, there's dragger. <laughs> so I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. I never knew that there was dragger up here. So, or droggers. So there is a egg, like right down there. Whoa, hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Boney. There we go. Boy, he surprised me. He must have came from that fortress or something. Oh, Mr. Uh, Skelly over there. Oh, the, hello, Mr. Doggy. Okay, where's the house? There it is. Sometimes it's hard to find this place. Who come out of the nice cold coldness for a little while? Uh, let's see here. Let's put this egg down. There we go. Get rid of some of our weight. Man, we got so much rock on us. Get rid of that. Hmm. They didn't drop that wood. Nope. Yeah, if I didn't drop that wood, I could have put the uh, uh, little thing on the fire here and cooked up those dog steaks. <laughs> That'd be, that sounds almost kind of funny. But uh, yeah, let's try this again now. Uh, what's the bone mass give me? It's like, yeah, it makes you susceptible to, like, cold, doesn't it? So that, that wouldn't be any good. Being that I have this, um, dog or this wolf, uh, ape on now, it makes it so that, uh, I'm, I don't have to worry about, you know, the cold and all that. Oh, yes, I will let them just continue fighting that out. Be neat if you could make those guys your pets, you know, those little wyverns or whatever. He'd be uh, pretty handy at the uh, bone mass area. All right, now you can really see it. See, it clears up, and now all of a sudden you can really see where, where that bone plate or the uh, egg place is down there. Look at that nice little cave I made. <laughs> Makes it kind of handy to get down here. Except for right here.
All right, we have any more drakes in the area? I don't see any more, do you? Or, I meant, do you? <laughs> but I don't see any more. Oh, there's Mr. Wolf right there. Dang it, missed him. Got him. All right, so we'll be able to run down here. We'll go get that at last egg, that third egg. And, uh, yeah, we should be good. Look at that. Oh, man, do I not have enough? Yeah, I got enough room. Now I don't have enough room. All right. Um... Okay, let's head back up top, and we'll drop off this egg. I wouldn't mind getting... I don't know how we're going to do it, to be honest. Because you have to have three eggs to summon motor, Modar. But um, the eggs are like 200 each. So that's like 600 pounds alone with... You're not even counting, you know, all the uh, the gear and all that you're going to have, so. What do I hear? <laughs> Whoa, those are nasty guys, and of course I can't get my foothold. Can't even see what his health is at. Oh, there it is. Bed and ring. Yeah, so these guys are kind of nasty. And they they would normally do a lot of damage to me, but I guess they just can't jump down the rock at the moment. Ooh. Oh, don't grunt, fall down the cliff. There we go. Got a wolf fang. The rest of his stuff is up top there. I gotta jump up to get it. I imagine if I can get the um the, the new bow, the dog dragger bow or whatever that is. Um these guys here will be a lot more easier to take out. Dang it. You had to like slide down to get that darn fang. So they get stuck between the rocks. Well, at least I'm getting better at jumping, huh? All right. Let's see if we can't get up the rest of the mountain here. At least after the mountain, I mean. Hopefully we won't have any more of this where we have to like, you know, run up, up hills like this, you know. Ooh, what's this health at? <laughs> Can't see it from here. Now I don't want to get close enough to, uh, you know, aggro either one of them, so... I always wondered if the eggs like respawn or something, you know, that would be nice if they respawn and you could always come back and pick up a few more eggs and do it all over again. I don't know, but I don't see anything at the moment. So let's see if we have any wolves down there or anything. We got something there. That's one of those things that tell you, like, where uh, the next boss is. I don't know. We could run down here and see if maybe they'll tell me where another, another boss is or something. I don't know. Oh, there he is right there.
try to keep my distance, but it's like he's they're following me, you know? Hmm, I wonder if there's another egg thing down there. It's usually where those drakes are, there's always like an egg nearby. Oh, here comes a doggy. Oh, hello. Darn little buddies. Man. And of course, all my stuff is <laughs> going all at once. All right, let's see if we can't get over here and check out this building before something else like decides that uh, they need to shoot us. Oh, this is motor. So yes, yeah, as we already have the location, it's right where we are. I would have thought that, you know, it'd show us like a different location, you know, maybe uh, where another possible, you know, area is for where a motor is, you know, or whatnot. Yeah, it don't seem to be the case. All right, so see, there's there's a guy down there. I'm going to guess that there's an egg down there, but... I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm thinking we need to, like, work on our food a little bit, get some stronger food that lasts a little bit longer, because, I mean, we're up to, like, 15 minutes right now. Ooh, got that guy right off the bat. But I mean, if there was like food that would last like 25 minutes and they kind of keep up our strength and all that, all that fun stuff, that'd be pretty awesome. All right, well, yep, I think that'll do her. Let's head back up here to the house. I need to mark that on the map. Boy, I tell you, I get so turned around. Is that right there? No. I think it's... Well, if the boss is right there, it's got to be, like, over here. There it is. <laughs> Told you, I get turned around. I need to mark that on the map. Outpost. <laughs> So this is it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to end my episode here. This seems like a pretty good spot and uh, we're not being attacked right now. So that's a bonus. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're liking the content, please hit that like. And uh, yeah, please comment down in the comment section below if you would. And uh, down in the description, you can uh, find more about this game and where to purchase it. Also, as well as the... Um, about my uh, giveaway uh, there's information down there about that and uh, you can also find more information about the giveaway that I'm doing on uh, my main page under the community tab yeah I hope you the best of luck on that and uh, we will see you next time you take care now and bye bye